wish I could stay here forever, right in this moment. Dad, we need to go back. They're waiting for us. Go ahead, yeah. I'll be there in a minute. Fine, but don't take too long. It was always fun to come to the cabin in summer. The last time we were here, none of us wanted to leave. I remember her face so well. Before Laura passed away, she promised Emma that one day we What's wrong? There's nothing wrong. I just... I just don't want to do it. Dad, it's a lake. Are you afraid of a lake? No. It's only that I don't like what I can't see. I can't, I can't see what's under the water. <laughs> In other words, you're afraid of a lake. All right, I'm afraid of a lake. Gosh. You're even worse than Tom. Who's Tom? Nobody. Just... a friend. Oh. Yeah, um, some girls and I were thinking about going to his beach house this summer. You're not going. Wait... What? Look, you're 16 and I don't know that boy. I'm telling you that you're not going, Emma, and that's the end of it. That's not fair. You, you can tell me what to do. You're not my boyfriend. That family, they just wanted some help. But Christian realized, if that child in, who knows how much time we would have survived. His brother were okay, but, but he could be infected. What else could it be? He did it to the group. He threatened them with the rifle. I was, I was too scared. I never liked the idea of not having curtains. The sun woke me up every morning. We should have covered the windows with something. Maybe that's why they saw the light when Emma lit that fire. Stupid girl. Laura spent weeks looking for the perfect birthday gift for Emma. Our little girl. She was turning 16 so fast. She always knew how to make her happy. I must say I wasn't so good at that. Actually, I was never good with women. Except for Laura. Everything was different with her. We didn't find out what had happened until a couple of days later. Coming with Christian and Sarah to the cabin was always an adventure. A time for relax.
Boys and girls. Since Emma was... Fantastic topic to become the evil and control. Much easier with a boy. Who would steal the wheels of a car after the world's end? You're not real. You're not real. Imagine that they were hiding you. What a dump. It's hard to believe. Just nice. Fuck, how do I get in? Motherfuckers. Refugee center. What were they thinking? You can't provide safety. Everyone wanted to get in. At least it got people out of the city. When Laura was pregnant, we used to sit here for hours. We dreamed about travel, celebrate things. Just life. We were so naive. Laura used to love the sweets from the shelf. I doubt there's any money left inside. Not anyway. 
still remember you. I guess the storm. Locked. Empty. Shit. This must open something. Hello? Look, I don't want any trouble. J just show yourself or go away. I'm paranoid. Living at number 12 would bring us luck. It was a special number after all. Christian is not so good people, but who am I to talk? In any case, what happened to them was not my fault. When we returned, they were the ones who distanced themselves. It's not easy to describe what it feels like to discover that your world is over. Now it's more like a stuck on the wall. Like, don't forget to do your laundry. I didn't expect it. That day I was going to a gas station to see if I could find something to eat. I don't understand why I found there dead. At least it gave me the confidence I needed to return. I wonder if there's any football tonight. Ah, I don't want to visit the neighbor. For sugar. Who used to live there? I can't remember anymore. something with my girl. Otherwise I would have cut up his... Those assholes took everything. Would anyone want all this useless... When she was only five years old, I had to start a conversation. That little child touch that made her look Imagine that at first they're all so innocent and endearing, but then they grow. They grow and become ungrateful teenagers who don't care that you've devoted every second of your life to race them. You wanted to party? Wanted to grow up? Well, you had it coming, Emma. You did. You sure did. You deserved it. <sighs> How can I say such things of my own daughter? Fault. It wasn't your fault, but mine. Only mine. 
We knew Laura was dying long before it happened. I remember trying to sleep in here every night after she left. I remember the pain and the loneliness. I'm not going in there. Christian, Christian, what are you doing? Emma. Leave me alone. Emma, you can't be like this forever. Not because of them. It's your fault. He's dead because of you. I wish you were dead instead. <gasps> the gun. I need the gun. Why did I hide it back there? Damn it! 